So here I have to prove. So A intersection B of intersection C is equals to A intersection of B intersection C. So we have to prove it by means of element wise. So here the element wise proof of this condition is of in order to prove this condition or in other words in order to prove A intersection B intersection C equals to A intersection of B intersection C first of all we have to prove two conditions that is in the first condition we have to prove LHS the subset of RHS and in the second case we have to prove the RHS the subset of LHS. So here in order to prove A intersection B intersection C is equals to A intersection of B intersection C. So first of all we have to prove two conditions. So those were so one is of LHS that is A intersection B intersection C must be the subset to A intersection of B intersection C. Then the second case as right hand side that is A intersection of B intersection C must be the subset to the LHS that is A intersection B intersection C. So here I want to prove the first case then now that is the case number 1 in our case number 1 we are going to prove A intersection B intersection C as the subset of A intersection of B intersection C. Since we are going to prove this condition by means of the element wise so I have to suppose one element let that element be x which belongs to the LHS that is A intersection B of intersection C. So that implies so here in its elaboration x belongs to this A intersection B that is the first bracket intersection indicates and and x also belongs to the second set that is C. So we can write it as x belongs to the first set that is A intersection B. So here and x belongs to even C that is x belongs to C whereas in the next logical step we can write it as that implies. So I want to elaborate even this condition within the brackets. So here x belongs to A intersection B can be written as x belongs to A intersection indicates and x belongs to even B also bracket close then now here and x belongs to C is written as it is and the next logical step will be off. So that implies so I want to remove these brackets so here x belongs to A and x belongs to B and x belongs to C. So instead of and we can write it as the symbolic notation as inverted V the next logical step will be off. So that implies x belongs to A instead of the and I want to write the symbolic notation as inverted V then now x belongs to B so and x belongs to C then the next logical step will be off but here I want to group the second and third within the brackets then now the next logical step will be off so that implies x belongs to A then now and so here x belongs to so here within the brackets is it off x belongs to B and x belongs to C can be written as as per the definition of the intersection of two sets we can write it as B and C can be written as B intersection C. So here I got this logical step by means of the reason or by the definition of the intersection of two sets. Then now the next logical step will be off. So that implies so x belongs to so here A and as well as the second bracket can be written as A instead of and we can write it as intersection of B intersection C. I got the same step by means of the same reason that is by the definition of the intersection of two sets. So here but then we have so here LHS is of X belongs to A intersection B intersection C X belongs to A intersection B intersection C implies then the RHS is of X belongs to A intersection B intersection C. So it indicates that X is an element which is present in the set that is A intersection B of intersection C and the same element X is also present in the right hand side A intersection of B intersection C set that is the elements which are present in the LHS are also the elements of the RHS therefore the LHS will be the subset of RHS. So hence we can write so therefore A intersection B intersection C will be the subset to A intersection of B intersection C. So in this manner so we have proved the first condition. So here let us write this condition as the equation number 1 or the condition number 1. Then now let us go for the second case that is case number 2. In our second case so we have to prove so here right hand side the subset of left hand side. So that is A intersection of B intersection C must be the subset to the LHS that is A intersection B intersection C. 
But here, since we are proving by means of element wise, so I have to suppose one element which belongs to the LHS, let X be an element which belongs to LHS that is A intersection of B intersection C. Then now that implies X belongs to A, intersection indicates and and X also belongs to the second bracket that is B intersection C. So we can write it as X belongs to A instead of intersection I can write it as and then X belongs to even the second bracket that is B intersection C. And whereas in the next logical step, so that implies X belongs to A. So here and and within the proper brackets, so I want to elaborate X belongs to B intersection C as X belongs to B, then intersection can be written as and then X belongs to even C also. So X belongs to C, then bracket close. Then now here in the next logical step, I want to remove all the brackets. Then now So that implies x belongs to A and x belongs to B and x belongs to C. But here instead and I want to write the symbolic notation as inverted V that is x belongs to A and x belongs to B and x belongs to C. But here I want to group the first and second elements. So here the next logical step will be off. So that implies so as per the definition of the intersection of two sets that is A and as well as B. So here X belongs to. So here A and B can be written as A intersection B. Then now here and X belongs to C is written as it is. But here I got this logical step by means of the definition of the intersection of the two sets by the definition based upon this reason. So I wrote this logical step. Then now the next logical step will be off. So that implies I am applying the same reason that is the definition of the intersection of two sets. Then I can write it as. So X belongs to A intersection B but here and can be written as the intersection of this C. But here then we have LHS is of so here LHS is of X belongs to A intersection of B intersection C X belongs to A intersection of B intersection C implies the RHS is of X belongs to A intersection B intersection C. So here it is understood that an element X is belonging to the A intersection of B intersection C set and the same element X is also present in the A intersection of B, inter A intersection B of intersection C. That is the elements which are present in the LHS set are also the elements of RHS. Therefore, the LHS set will be the subset of the RHS set. So, here therefore, we can write it as A intersection of that is LHS B intersection C will be the subset to the RHS that is A intersection B of intersection C. So, here in this manner we have proved the second case also. Then now let us take this as the equation number 2 or the second condition. Then now, so from the equations that is the two conditions that are 1 and as well as 2. So, here the first condition is of A intersection B intersection C is a subset of A intersection of B intersection C which has the equation number 1. And in the second case, A intersection of B intersection C is the subset to A intersection B intersection C. So, let us suppose this as the equation number 2. From these two conditions, it is clear that so LHS is the subset of the RHS and RHS is the subset of LHS. Therefore, the LHS and RHS must be equal or equated. So, here therefore, we can write A intersection B intersection C is equals to A intersection of B intersection C. So in this manner we have proved the two associative properties or associative laws one as A union B of union C equals to A union of B union C and the second one as the A intersection B of intersection C equals to A intersection of B intersection C.